buddy. Hey. <laughs> Beth and Gus here with another story time. But before, <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm going to right now, I'm going to. Gus wants to, well, I do too. I want to thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel. We really, really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy the, the channel. And we hope that you're going to enjoy today's story, which is another one. <laughs> Gus likes this one. Mo Willems. It's called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. <laughs> it's, a, it's another funny one. Hope you guys enjoy it. You ready? You ready, Gus? He's always ready. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. Three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. Hello. When the other mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be... Fancy, or funny, or cool, or I can be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ew! Yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Uh, <clears throat> naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought, that was a great idea. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to a giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Why not? Asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he heard. Uh, then he thought some more. Hmm. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation. He knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, <clears throat> Fellow naked mole rats, 
I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, Why not? Why not, indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone. But this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats are naked. Two, some of the mole rats are clothed. And three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. The end. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Naked mole rat gets dressed. And look who's gotten dressed. Ta-da! Before we said goodbye, Gus said he had to get dressed. I think the tie looks good on you. I do. Do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. We did. So, until next time, Beth and Gus, story time. We'll see you later. Bye.